All right, I apologize for that. Let's try this again. Um, I got a message from Debbie that my audio was bad, so I pulled out a microphone and hopefully maybe that will help. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> my name is Erin and I am coming to you from Dances with Wool on this slightly dreary looking Friday morning. Um, we hope everybody has got good projects to keep themselves occupied inside for the next day or two because I think there's still more rain coming here in Central Virginia. But I wanted to welcome you to our weekly Inspire Me segment where we just give you some inspiration, new yarns, new patterns, things that are new in the shop to uh, bring you into your weekend. Um, as always, before I get started, I wanted to remind everyone that uh, we are open for in-person shopping. Uh, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You do not need an appointment. You can just come on out. Um, as per CDC and Virginia State guidelines, masks are not required for those who are fully vaccinated. Um, you may still want to wear a mask in the shop. Remember, we're not a big space. It's not like coming to the grocery store or something. So um, because you might be in closer with other people, you may want to consider wearing a mask even if you are fully vaccinated but they are not uh, required for those who are. We do also have our website, danceswithwoolrva.com, which Debbie is linking in the comments, and you can shop us online uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week from your couch in your pajamas. We offer flat rate shipping if you are not local, and we're still offering our curbside um, pickup or in-store pickup for those who are local. Um, we do still offer our virtual shopping appointments, so if you are not local to us, um, but you would like some assistance in shopping, maybe in putting together color combinations or calculating yardage for a sweater project, that kind of thing, you can still book those on our website. Um, there's a big banner at the top of the page. You can click that and set those up. Um, they're done via Zoom. They're very successful. We've had a lot of good feedback with those. So this morning, now that I appear to have fixed my audio issues, I am going to give you a preview of a our new trunk show. So, you know, uh, this is our kind of par for the course of the throughout the summer. We try to have a lot of new trunk shows coming in, different things for you to look at. This show is actually from a local dyer, very local here uh, in Richmond. Her name is Martha Gardner Cook, um, and her business is called Dying for Art. Um, she's got a cute little logo. I didn't bother flipping my camera this morning, so that's all backwards. But she's got a cute little, little sheepy logo. And so Martha is new to the uh, yarn dyeing business. So uh, we are, I think we may be her first trunk show ever. So we're always excited to give um, a chance for uh, local folks, uh, different makers. We wanna showcase them and support them um, in their journeys. So I'm going to go around the table and show you um, some of the things that Martha has sent us. Um, she has sent us all fingering weight yarn in two varieties. She sent us um, the sort of standard superwash nylon blend, and then she's also sent us um, some sparkle yarns. So if you are a fan of sparkle, uh, Martha sent a really nice selection of colors in her sparkle bases, different kinds of sparkle. I, I, as I was unpacking, I saw some have got gold stellina, some of them got silver stellina. There's a few that actually I think have copper stellina in them. Those are a little more subtle. So I'm gonna go around the table and show you some of what she's brought. I may not do every single color that she has, but we'll show you a few of them. This is a fun color. This is called Fire and Ember. And this is the gold Stellina. So let me see if I can get that to the camera so you can see the sparkle in that. So this is one of her gold. I think this is gold. Looks gold to me on the gray. So that's a really pretty color. I like this one too. This is a fun bright. This is called Water Lily. And this is a really fun bright color. Here again with, that looks like gold, Stellina to me. Let's see, what's one that's got silver? I think this one's got silver in it. So this color is called Passion Flower. So lots of pretty pinks and greens and some cream and some gray, but you can see there's the silvery. Selena in that one. This is a fun one. This is called Berry Limerita. 
So definitely looks like a fun, bright, summery watermelon colorway. That one's fun. This, she's got a couple more. These are a couple that she has like to have um, copper Stellina in them. So this is called uh, Agatha. I'm gonna get it in here close to the camera and try to turn it with the light. As you can see, so the coppery Stellina is gonna be a lot more subtle. So if you're looking for something with just a little bit of sparkle, this is a really pretty purples and lilacs with just that little bit of subtle coppery sparkle. Also this one, this is a really pretty color called Dunes at the Shore. So again, some blues with some taupes, but let me see if I can get the camera to pick up. There's, there is, it's a little more obvious in person than it's reading on camera, but again, this has got the coppery, maybe on the blue there, there we go. This has got the coppery Stellina in it. So again, it's gonna be a lot more subtle than the gold or the silver, but still just a little bit of sparkle. So those are a lot of fun. And she's got a few more colors here. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through all the colorways because she sent a lot. But those, I think, were the highlights for me. Sorry, I'm gonna <laughs> try to do this. Walk around the table while attached to the iPad here. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a lot more complex than when, there we go, than when I'm not attached. And so she did send some fingering weight um, without sparkle as well. So if sparkle's not your thing, she has got you covered. This is a really fun one. This is called Storm Clouds Over the River. I thought this one was really pretty with really dark, dark navy blue and then some fun pops. And if you um, were a fan of the assigned pooling patterns that we had in with the Chasing Rabbits Trunk show um, last month, I think you'd have to open up the skein and lay it out. But Dawn has written those patterns um, where she says if you get a skein where you've got um, a kind of a, a chunk of color that's anywhere from um, a third or a quarter to half the skein, you can use her assigned pooling pattern. So something like this would probably be, we'd have to open it up for you and make sure, but I'm thinking you could do one of those assigned pooling patterns in this yarn using this green as your kind of floret cluster and then the blue background. So Dawn's got a several colorways that I think would work for something like that. This one's also pretty. This is called My Happy Place. I thought that was nice. Lots of peaches and pinks. There's a little pop of gray. So this is called My Happy Place. This one's pretty. This is another one that I think would work for assigned pooling. This is called Cranberry Ice. So again, it's like this really deep, rich burgundy. Maybe pull it out here to get the light to catch it. Really rich, deep burgundy with this bright aqua. So again, you could use the burgundy as your floret colorway. Um, this one I thought was really neat too. I liked this one. It's called Sunflowers for My Friend. This is a really pretty summery, I thought, but not necessarily neons. So something that's kind of brighter, but without being super, super neon colored if you're looking for a nice project. And this one was fun too. This is called Peter Cottontail. I thought this one was so cute. It's got the blue and then this speckly, fun light speckles on kind of a creamy base for the other half of the skein. So lots of fun, lots of great options. And she also sent us a few samples. So I'm gonna try to roll this way around to where I have the samples on this side of the table and show them to you. So she's got a beautiful version of the powder wrap. If you haven't seen this in person yet by Casapinka. So she does have the worsted weight version is the sample she sent us. Um, she didn't send any worsted weight with this trunk show, but the pattern has got a fingering weight option written into it. So you can do it in fingering weight as well 
for a lighter shot, but you can at least see what the, the textures and things look like. So that's the Powder Wrap by Casapinka. This is called the Hermanus Shaw by Katherine Anderson. I thought this was really pretty. It's very simple, some um, feather and fan lace with some garter. It's a triangle, very, very kind of straightforward. This would be really nice summer, you know, knitting, Netflix knitting. And this actually isn't sparkle. I didn't think she'd send us any samples and sparkle, but you can see there's a there's how the sparkle knits up. So um, I know sometimes people ask about sparkle yarns. Oh, don't they get scratchy with that Stellina in them when you work them up? But they really, really don't. So you get a chance, you can feel this shawl when you come in to see us and feel that the Stellina really doesn't get scratchy. It just adds a fun sparkle to everything. And she also sent a cute little sample this is called the Cross Me Not Shaw. This is by Jenna Heisner, who um, works with Center of the Universe up in Ashland. Some of you may know Jenna. So this is a fun, cute little one skein project. So perfect for those one skeins that we buy that are so pretty and then we're especially um, a variegated one. You can see how nicely this works with a highly variegated colorway because we buy those skeins sometimes, right? And look at this, this is a single skein um, that Martha sent. I only have one of these, she calls it Bright. <laughs> That's a very apt name, but you know, you would see something like this and go, gosh, it's so much fun and I love it, um, but I don't know what on earth I would do with it. You know, what, what pattern could possibly look good with all of that variegation going on? This is a great option for something like that, for those kind of special little one-off skeins that you have. And then she sent a pair of socks. This is the basic socks a la genie recipe um, from the genie of the, of the uh, blah, 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 blah. Knitting addiction, <laughs> that took me a minute, down um, by the Outer Banks, um, if you've ever been down there or you've been to see when Jeannie brings her yarn truck up here, we've done several events with her. This is just her basic sock recipe, but this gives you a chance to see how some of these variegated colorways that Martha dyes, how they would work up in socks. So I can't guarantee that um, a particular colorway will kind of work up in these sort of um, stripey situation like this that's going on, but um, certainly, um, some of these ones that she's dyed where there's chunks of color, this would be kind of how it would work up. Yes, so Debbie has said the basic socks pattern by Jeannie, it is um, only available as a hard cover, um, a hard copy pattern in our shop. Um, but if you are, are not local um, and would like to get that pattern or you would like to shop this trunk show because of course we don't put trunk shows on the website because this is not our stock um, so we don't list it on our website if you would like to shop the trunk show and then you and you're not local you can always make a virtual shopping appointment that's the best way to shop all of our trunk shows um, because then we can walk you around the table we can show you you know the different yarns and help you pick out uh, what you'd like and then we can ship it off to you so that's always an option so that is the dying for art trunk show we will have these through next saturday june 19th so come on out and take a look support a new local dyer it's always nice to do that somebody who's fairly new to the business and so that is what i have for you this week in terms of inspire me now before i sign off here a couple of things first of all the uh, james river yarn crawl shawl patterns both the knit and the crochet are live now on ravelry we sent out in our weekly email newsletter that went out on Monday, if you got that from us, we did have links to the patterns um, in that newsletter. Unfortunately, we inverted the links. <laughs> so if you clicked on the link to the knit version of the shawl, it took you to the crochet version and vice versa. We apologize for that. Um, we are sending out, Deb sending out an email today that will have the correct links to the two patterns, as well as your uh, link and sign on information for the virtual kickoff event for our James River uh, Shawl Knit Along Crochet Along that we're having. That's tomorrow, Saturday at 7 p.m. That's gonna be on Zoom. All six shop owners will be on, as well as Naila Plasky, who is the designer of the two patterns. 
um, all the shops will get to show you their samples, talk about their recommendations. Nayela will talk a little bit about her design process. Um, it's going to be a great event, but that kicks off today. You can buy the pattern today. Um, the knit version takes two skeins of fingering weight yarn. The crochet is going to take a third skein because you're going to go into a third skein for it. Um, crochet does tend to take a little bit more yarn for the similar size project. But um, the way the knit along crochet along works is you purchase your yarn from one of the participating shops. You make your shawl. Uh, you can cast on today and you finish by the crawl and post it to uh, social media with some hashtags. All this information is in our weekly email newsletter. It's on the James River Yarn Crawl website. It's on our website. So you can find the hashtags and then you will be entered in the drawing for some prizes um, at the end of the Knit Along Crochet Along. So we're really excited. We've got samples um, in our shop. Our samples are done in our uh, Rich Hill Yarns. But come on out and check those out. Um, and also, Worldwide Knit in Public Day is tomorrow, uh, Saturday, June 12th. Um, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., we will be outside under the sycamore trees, which are on the back side of our shop. Um, if you came to our yard sale last weekend, you want to go out on that side of the building um, under these big sycamore trees that we have this grassy, big grassy area between the parking lot and Midlothian Turnpike. But come on out 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Bring your chair, water, plenty of sunscreen, your projects, and uh, Great Harvest will be providing us with some pastries in the morning, so that'll be nice, that'll be tasty. But anyway, that's coming tomorrow. So a lot going on. The best way to always stay up to date with everything we have going on is to follow us on social media. We are Dances with Wool RVA on Facebook and Instagram and sign up for our weekly email newsletter. It comes out Monday afternoons. Um, get on that list because that's also the best way. And you can do, to keep up with what we're doing, you can do that on our websites right there at the top of the page, newsletter sign up. So everybody has a great weekend. I hope you stay dry today. And hopefully we will see you um, either today or tomorrow uh, in the shop or outside for in public day on the Zoom for uh, the kickoff with Naila for the James River Yarn Crawl, Knit Along, Crochet Along. Lots of stuff going on this weekend. Hope you guys have a great one and we will see you next week.